it's very, very possible that we are living in an Anunnaki simulated universe, uh, that we're just nothing more than a very big experiment. And it doesn't mean that we're not real. When, when people hear holographic universe, they think, oh, it means that we're fake. No, you're real, your experiences are real, your kids are real. Yeah, everything that happens is real, okay? Because, because your consciousness is real. Your consciousness is real, exactly. The consciousness is what's, what's the, the, the thing that powers everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you study the double slit experiment, people who don't know about it, where they took the photons and shot them through a little board, well, that's on the back wall is where it produced either particles or when you observed it, it produced a wave. So is it a particle, is it a wave? This is where the question is. Consciousness is really dictating what happens here. And because we're inside of the actual hologram, we're actually self-immersed inside on the inside of it, trying to look out, we'll never see the edge of the universe. We're on the inside looking out. Somebody from the outside looking in can see, can see everything from another higher dimension. Mm -hmm. From this dimension, we appear to be completely self-immersed in it. So even when we touch things, it's an illusion. I mean, my hand touching this table is an illusion. All it is is the electromagnetic frequencies in, in my fingers repelling the electromagnetic frequencies inside of this table. Mm -hmm. And if I can phase shift the frequencies of the atomic structure in my hand, I can pass my hand right through this table. Mm -hmm. So that begs the question, are there entities in other dimensions that have the capability of phase shifting their atomic frequencies and stepping into the third dimension? I think that's very possible. Right. And